Hi, this is June 15th progress update on One Commander version 3 pre-alpha. I have published this version so you can test it yourself, but please know that this is still unstable version and there is no warranty of any kind, and it is best to use it in test environment and not with your real data. Uh, don't uninstall any other version, all can live on the same system and there is no installation. When you download the archive, extract it somewhere, but it must not be a system folder, as program saves the settings in the same folder, so it needs a write permission. When you extract it, open the folder, uh, and here you will be able to see one commander version 2.exe. I'm not ready to rename it yet. So, once you start it, you will see this window. Um, so, this is a temporary window, but don't close it. Click Create New Window, and it will open a current version of One Commander. Here you'll be able to see which uh, version it is. So now you can play with it, try to break it and let me know how you did it. There are a few important things that you need to know. The only shortcuts that are currently implemented are new file, new folder, cut, copy, paste. Delete is not implemented yet, just in case. And also, um, this button doesn't do anything. You can access many other functions through context menu, and this should work. Um, so this is a known bug, no need to report it. So you will need to open some, fo some folder to uh, make it resize and get into the proper place. If you press the test button, it will switch to the vertical layout. You can resize the panels, but these panel sizes are not saved yet. Uh, also, this overlap is also a known error. Please don't change any settings, as these settings are from the old version and can just break the, the current version. It is best not to create any new windows, because right now they will overwrite each other's settings. Clicking this opens a log file, so if you encounter any errors you will be able to see, uh, you can be able to open it and see uh, what's going on and you can send me the file. All these files are in the log folder. So it's it's here, and it every every day a new log file will be created. Um, this version automatically sends stack traces to me, so use it only if you're comfortable with that. This is a stack trace. Um, it's it logs an error and um, shows me which function uh, produced the error and on which line. So it helps me to find and debug the error. It shouldn't have any personal data on it uh, and it is used only for debugging purposes for this alpha version and I will be deleting those after 24 hours. If you find any issues please send it to me at this email address, including the log file if relevant, and steps to reproduce the error. Again, please don't use it on your main disk or system disk, as it is not tested much and it is possible to accidentally drag files somewhere while I'm navigating. Um, and yes, there might be any many other issues that would cause data loss, and so don't don't use it on 
real data as I don't want to be responsible for that. So the link to download this version is in the video description. So please send me any issues and feedback to this email address. Thanks.